Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Bumblebee Corner. I'm so happy to have you here. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're brand new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Today, I am going to upcycle some pumpkins. I actually, I bought these at Hobby Lobby. They come three in a pack. I was inspired by Kristen of Simply Joy by Kristen. She always finds the coolest thing. So we all jump on the bandwagon whenever we see her post something like that. So, and I can never just buy like one or two. I have to go all out and buy a whole bunch. So I have, I think like 20, 20 something of these pumpkins that I upcycled, um, all different ways. Most of them are just using like napkins. Um, so I hope you like them. So let's get started. Hi guys, so today I'm going to upcycle these pumpkins that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I got inspired from Simply Joy by Kristen. She had posted a video where she got these and she upcycled them and they turned out so cute. So I had to jump on the bandwagon and I went up to Hobby Lobby and, and just grabbed what they had. And I think I got like maybe eight packs. There's three in a pack. So I was going to have 24 um, pumpkins to do. My daughter did take one pack. She wanted them just like they were for her room. So I let her take those. But I just, I thought they were really super cute. So I'm just going to go ahead. I didn't really like these. They're a little like raffia bows. I didn't like them on there. So they're just stapled on there. So I'm just going to take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to pull all of those off. So now since I'm going to decoupage on these colored ones, I'm just going to paint the one side white. That just helps whatever the paper, I'm going to use napkins in this case, but it just makes it, makes it pop a little bit more if you're decoupaging onto a white background. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm using, I believe it's the Dixie Bell. I believe it's called cotton white or it's just cotton, something like that. I know cotton's in there. So I'm just trying to use this paint up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint each of these pumpkins, just like I said, just the one side where I'm gonna decoupage, I'm gonna paint that white. All right, so I got them all painted and they're all dry. So now it's time to decoupage. So here's all the papers. There's like that plaid, it's got fall colors. There's a scarecrow. Um, floral, there's some pumpkins, and I think they say thankful and blessed. Some more pumpkins, some more floral, and sunflowers. So I decided to start with the sunflower, so I just laid it on the pumpkin so I got an idea of where I wanted it to be. So I just cut out that sunflower, and then I'm going to grab my paintbrush and my liquid patina from DIY. That's my favorite. Um, decoupage medium. So I'm just going to kind of brush some on this upper half. You, that's, when you use the napkins, you don't need a ton. You don't want it too thick on there. So I just kind of brush it on and then you just kind of go over the top and work in, trying to work out some of the wrinkles. I just kind of lift it up in little spots to kind of get wrinkles and brush them out. And it works really well. And then you just have to set it aside and and let it dry. So the next one I did here was this little scarecrow. I love him. I think he's he's adorable. So again, just kind of lay it out there and just kind of cut. So you you always want just a little bit of overhang, just so in case you mismeasure, you you know you're gonna have enough. And then you just at the end you just sand it off. So I'm just gonna lay him on there. I just kind of want most of his head and his face. So again, I just kind of started with the top, put a thin layer on there, and then I'm just going to go ahead and brush to get all them wrinkles out. So next I decided just to use this plaid. I figured this one, this pumpkin would kind of, you could display it with any of them with the colors. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I just laid out the liquid patina and I just, I kind of did the whole pumpkin on this one. And then I'm just going to brush it until I get all the wrinkles out. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. And then I'll show you at the end.
ones I decided I'm going to make them into little ghosts. I thought that would be really cute. So I just found a cap that I had that I thought would be good for the eyes. So I'm just going to go ahead and trace the eyes on all of these ghosts. So I decided to do the eyes. I would just use a black Sharpie. So I'm going to go, go ahead and just kind of trace the line. And then I'm just going to color them in. And just see how this first one looks. All right, so I don't think I'm going to like the Sharpie. So I grabbed my black paint and little black dress, and I just grabbed the, a really small paintbrush. And I'm just going to have to be really careful, and I'm just going to go really slow. And I think I like the paint a lot better. It just it looks sharper and darker, and I think in the end this is going to be a better choice. So I have all the eyes painted on the ghosts. So now the ones, the pumpkins that I did the decoupage on, they're all dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my little sander here. And I am going to just sand in a downward motion around all the edges just to get all of that excess paper off. So I got all the excess paper off of that one. So I'm just going to take some lace that I have, some ribbon, and I'm just going to tie a cute little bow. So I kind of wrap it around, get what I need. And I'm just going to kind of tie it around one time. And then just trim it up till I have the length that I want. And then this pumpkin is complete. And I really like how these turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. What do you think of my pumpkins? Which one do you have a favorite? I, I just can't. I love them all, but I, don't, I like the sunflower. I love sunflowers in the fall. And I, but the ghosts are really super cute too. So I don't know. I just can't pick a favorite. I just, I think they're all, they turned up super, super cute. So I appreciate you being here. Send me a, a comment and let me know which one you love the best, which is your favorite. And if you like this type of content, I would appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button. My neighbor just started cutting grass. Of course he did, right? So hit the subscribe button. My goal, I want to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So if you would do that, um, I would appreciate that and share the video out. If you know other people, other creators that like this type of content or would like a little bit of inspiration, I would just really appreciate that. Um, Hit the like button, I already said comment, and hit the notification button so that way you get notified when I upload videos. I will be hopefully jumping on to do a thrift haul video on Thursday. That's my goal is to do them, maybe an upcycle on Monday and a thrift haul video on Thursdays. So hopefully I can, I can stick with that. I've been doing pretty good. So that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.